Luke Masala looks like a pretty normal 20-year-old, but he's part of a very unusual club. Luke's bladder was grown in a lab. My bladder was sending fluid back up into my kidneys and damaging them. Luke's own bladder didn't work properly because he was born with spina bifida and his doctors were out of options. That's when Luke's parents took him to see Dr. Anthony Atala, who proposed a science fiction-like solution, grow a new bladder. So we take a some very small piece of tissue from the specific injured or deceased organ, less than half the size of a postage stamp. Here's what it looked like. A biodegradable mold was soaked and seeded with nutrients and the stem cells from Luke's own bladder. After two months, the new bladder was put into Luke. My kidneys are doing great. Here at the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine in North Carolina, there are labs that take the stem cells and multiply and grow them. And then they're all cooked in something called a bioreactor to get them ready for human use. At the Institute, we're growing over 20 different types of tissues and organs. Those tissues and organs include lab-grown arteries, ears, finger bones, artificial heart valves, again grown from human cells, replacement human skin for burn victims, even tiny muscles are being grown. The most complex organs are the solid organs, like the liver, the heart, the kidney. Here's a miniature lab-grown liver, not yet ready for humans. Those larger organs are built layer by layer with a modified inkjet printer that sprays different cell types onto the organ scaffold. Luke got his bladder 10 years ago. He was a captain of his high school wrestling team, a junior at UConn, all thanks to Dr. Atala's pioneering work. I think I would have been a lot more sick and I probably would have had to live on dialysis. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.